This was a shock. A uh, big shock. I was shocked. Shocked. But anyway, Jasmine will will Jasmine said yes, she wants to get married. Will said no. He said communication. At first we we're like, What you're not communic what the communication's on his side. But really looking back at it, I don't know if I got on the video, but I did tell Paul. <clears throat> Whenever Will was talking to his friends about Jasmine, there was one comment a particular friend said, and I didn't like the fact that she, she said it. It was a lady who said it too. She said, are you sure you want to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't believe in your dreams? It's either that, it's either you be with someone who's in your dream, or otherwise you're going to have to get rid of her. And the second she said it, get rid of her, he pretty much put the bug in her ear. I remember you were really upset about that. I was really upset because he put it in her ear. He should have said, you can work it out so she can come to the understanding of it. Because people change. Example, Keith has changed. So they could, he could have helped Jasmine change. But because he was so quick to jump shit because of that friend. And sometimes you don't listen to friends 100%. Because I feel like she really put that bug in his head and he ran with it like i ever since she said that comment i knew that relationship will be in danger because of the bug she put in that one she didn't do it but i would say that at first when you know will said there was no communication i was shocked because i thought that the reason there was no communication was because will always seemed so not seemed not to be not to engage mm -hmm. but then when we thought about it it was about when it goes back to about what well, will's dream has nothing to do with financials mm -hmm. she wants to be a coach she wants to you know really inspire the kids the same way he was inspired when he was little and that's his passion but um jasmine she needs a man that's going to provide and uh, provide financially and i think that when the cameras were not rolling when every time will would try to explain this to jasmine jasmine would shut it down completely and they would not really shut it down completely but like she said she's a debater so she would try to have the talk say we need to talk about this mm -hmm. try to bring multiple examples and it's and will kind of felt at some point it's like you just don't want to hear it because jasmine just didn't want to accept that you know what if you want to be with this man, you have to accept that this man she might... Has to she should have compromised. She should have compromised. I think she was being... He caught, he was compromising with the whatever dishes and how they're going to clean up and all. But she, I think she... One thing I will say a lot of people will end a relationship on is if you feel you're crushing their dreams. Yeah. And, and you know, we made a joke last time saying... I feel like Jasmine probably said, look... If you want to have a divorce, fine. Just don't do it on the cameras. Mm -hmm. We can do it after. Just say we're going to get together and let's break up after. And I think probably she cried because I'm sure Will was telling her, no, I'm, I'm just going to make my decision based on what's right, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel how finally hearing that because Will just never probably ever give her an answer in the back. You know, when they're in private. They make an answer like you and before. I think it just hit her knowing that, oh my gosh, she actually did that. But you know what I think also should have happened? I think Will should have tried to keep finding ways to communicate it to her. Maybe the route he was... Because I feel like he was the one who tried it. She shut it down and he would shut down and wouldn't bring it back up again. Like, he wouldn't bring it back up again. So it led... What's her name? Jasmine to think it was all the other intimacy stuff and all, but I think he should, he could have tried better to communicate. I feel like he jumped ship too early. He could have caused her to change. I don't agree with that. I feel that he... I think it was too early. People change. People can be hard-headed and... Mogai, like they say, what do they say? It, it takes a while before... Uh, a is it a tiger stripes to change or whatever? Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same with Jasmine. It, it just needed time for things like that to change. And no, I, I think that was yes, it takes a time, but it takes time. A, but it was embedded in her, but, from what she saw with her family. It's the same way of Keith. 
No, but it was embedded in him that it's a woman cleaning and but, he does not. But again, you need to understand this. Will also understands that, but he said he doesn't want to wait six years to probably cause to him. Because this is how everybody judges any relationship. Hold on. Six hold on. weeks is how long? No, no, no. I'm saying six weeks, but I'm saying. Two months and a half. But, but listen what I'm saying. Wait, six months. Let me tell you what I'm saying. I think in a relationship, every, a guy and a girl, they're both looking at time. How long would it take this person to change? How long do I think this person is going to continue the same way before they change? Because we feel everybody could change at some point. But how long are you willing to wait for someone to change? Well, I, uh, it was only two months and a half. No, but... It was barely even three months. It's not about the two and a half months. Will probably felt that even after the whole two months, it would have taken years before he changed and he would have been just consistently, why are you trying to do this? You need to be supporting us. Why are you doing this? And Will, based on just... Again, I, I understand what you're saying. Those two and a half months, he said... This is going to be a consistent battle every time. And it got so draining for him that he just almost, he, like you said, he did shut down. That's why he always wanted to go sleep. We were wondering why he was sleeping in the mini move with AirPods on. AirPods, we'll sleep with the AirPods He was listening on. to a podcast. Uh-huh, lying, he's sleeping. You ain't sleeping, you're listening. But that was a big tell that he was just drained. And he just said he didn't probably feel like engaging anymore. And maybe it's the reason, maybe, I don't know, he didn't feel like being also intimate because nothing can also kill that than feeling that like your passion is being drained. You know, if you're passionate about something and someone's trying to tell you, no, don't do that, it's going to drain you. True. And at the end, he had to be true to himself. And, you know, we didn't see it coming. We were definitely shocked. Shocked. Sure. We felt sad for Jasmine. Devastated. But as the more we think about it, and the more you hear what even Jasmine was saying that, hey, I'm a debater. I feel like, you know, I tried the best I could. I could have did something she has, more. She has to learn how to pick her battles. Because she, remember, even she didn't argue didn't about the communication. Because we were shocked. We thought Will was the issue at the problem of communication. But she didn't even fight it because she knew when he said communication, it was about something specific. And that specific was about financial stuff. She brought up the topic about the financials. And that's why he was like, no, no way. Right. Find someone who's going to support it. And to will, money is not the issue. That's true. And it's not like, because I don't think Will wanted to be supported. He just said, look, he's willing to work. He wants... If you're going to be with me, support me, because what if he wanted to go back to school to, like, do something else? What was Jasmine going to say? No, you got to be a man to support. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. He kind of, like, Jasmine she was pigeonholed like a, him. Like this. That's how Jasmine exactly, was. That, she that Will could never almost even try to improve or do anything because, hey, how are you going to do that and support us? And support me. And and on top of that, wanted to have a baby right away. So now, not only do I have to support you, I also have a baby? No way. No way. Will said, no way. Let me put these AirPods on and go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Overview of... I can't even think right now. Okay, so quick recap. We just saw, you know, the big decision. And we were right about three out of the four. Was that we were 100% right to put Luke and Kate at the end because they both agreed to a divorce. And I'm actually... We were wrong. I was wrong because I said Luke would say yes and Kate would say no. Oh, oh yeah. And I, I, honestly, I still think I was right. I think just how the show was produced that when they asked him, Luke probably tried to say yes, he would stay in that relationship. But even the counselors knew that it would be a bad situation, that they probably had to like almost stop it and have them say, we actually want Kate to go first because I feel 
they knew that if Luke said, yes, I want a marriage, Kate would have found a way to say, I want to make this work too. Mm -hmm. And I think the counselors had to say, you know what? If y'all want to be together, y'all can be together in your own time. But us as counselors in good conscience cannot let y'all make that decision here. I don't think they did that much. No, I feel, but I feel like they produced it, Martha. I think and, the only and the only reason I say that because we're gonna talk about in the future how they try to produce another situation, mm -hmm. you know, to try to show it. But you know, but also I think they had. I, I felt like morally they just felt like looking after Kate that they just couldn't let it happen. Cause remember how the other council just kept crying. I don't know if you noticed, um, the one in the black dress. Mm -hmm. She kept wiping her tears away over that whole situation because she knew, she felt for Kate. She wasn't crying oh, oh for Kate. God. She was crying for the other Jasmine and Will. No. Because Kate was the third one. Because Jasmine and Will was second. Kate, she kept just looking away, doing... When they gave everybody a hug, okay, look. You have to. I, 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 okay, I so I'm sorry. Okay. I'm kind of mumbling, but when they made the decision, Luke gave Dr. Pepper a hug, gave um, the pastor a hug. Same with, uh, but they didn't show any clip of Luke hugging the other lady. The other lady was probably like, no way. Heck no. There's no way, y'all two. I'm not letting it. All I know is whenever Luke was trying to describe. Kate, he kept using the word attractive in the most awkward he's sentences. He's not allowed to use the word attractive. He needs to be able to talk with her saying attractive. Yeah. I, I, I remember my TMI. I don't like this. I remember when I was in English class, my teacher would say, stop using words <laughs> like you don't know what they mean. <laughs> that goes to Luke. <laughs> stop using words you don't know what it means. Oh my gosh. Awkward yeah. ways he'll put them in sentences. Yeah. Yeah, you can't say that. Then there was Stephanie and AJ. Not a shocker but, there. No, it was not a shocker. We knew. We knew. But explain the producing one with Keith and Christine. Yeah, I mean, cause we, you know, Keith and Christine have been on number one. And, you know, when Christine was making her choice, she had took her ring out. She was playing it. Mm -hmm. They were trying to produce us, trying to play, you know. You know what they told her? They told her, when you go in and you got to do your presenting, take off your ring, oh, yeah. turn it around, oh, guaranteed. pause or whatever. Pause, hesitate. They find, told her. find something that you didn't like and just build this up. And I'll tell they did a good job. Cause they did. Yeah, you second guess I it. I had some second guess to my number one. To my number one. Especially after Keith just talked about how he's willing to change and him saying that, hey, you've been patient and, you know, I'm going to be an amazing person, which I believe mm -hmm. is someone who, and it just goes to show that, you know, us guys, we're okay being inspired by a woman. If we feel like you have a bug unconditionally, we will do whatever for y'all. You Without y'all having to ask us, we, we might forget some stuff, but we are going to want to do that for y'all. Because that's all we want. That's how we get our value. Our value is by doing stuff for you guys. And so when you feel like, oh, I need to push him and do this, there's healthy ways to do it. And I think Christine showed a very healthy way of doing that. Where it was like, hey, I need you to help support me with this. But she still, you know, I don't know. So, I guess like she said, we were half right, half wrong. Yeah. I like that they just didn't say yes just for the sake of the show. So next time, for next season, get yeah, ready. Wait, don't they show like six months after? Like, where are they now? Oh, they have the reunion. If, if you want to find those, you go online to go. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We oh, de we'll definitely, after the reunion, we'll definitely we'll try go to find to see. photos for those, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, so you say, oh, this should probably have, because after the end After the reunion, uh -huh. eh? Because, you know, it's been a while for the show. Mm -hmm. They go, you know, you can Google it to see if they are really, really together mm -hmm. or not. 
Yeah. I go look it. At those people. Oh, yeah. We'll look at it and probably do like a. We'll do like a. We're we'll waiting for the next season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to watch the reunion, though. All right. Okay, bye.